Chemical Hair Relaxers Theory Review for Cosmetologists and Barbers to Pass the Written Part of the State Board Exam The most common type of relaxers are Sodium Hydroxide, Hydroxide Relaxers, Ammonium Thioglycolate, ATG Thio Relaxers Thio Relaxers soften and swell the hair, break the disulfide bonds, are milder than Hydroxide Relaxers, have a thicker consistency, have a pH above 10, are highly alkaline. Thio neutralizers have an oxidizing agent, hydrogen peroxide for an ingredient. Rebond the broken disulfide bonds. Stabilize the hair back to acid pH. Thio relaxer procedure, virgin application. Wash hands and set up the sanitary maintenance area. Wash hands and drape the client with two towels and a plastic cape. Wash the hair with clarifying shampoo and towel dry. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to find out if they require pre-shampooing. Section the hair into four sections. Apply protective cream around the hairline. Wear gloves and apply ammonium dioglycolate cream from the scalp to the pores ends on each strand. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for processing time. Strand test the hair to see if it has been processed properly. Apply ammonium thioglycolate cream to the hair ends and follow the manufacturer's instructions for processing time. Rinse the hair and wash with neutralizing shampoo. Towel dry the client's hair. Undrape and clean up. Record the results, the processing time and the chemicals used in the client record card. Hydroxide relaxers are made of hydroxide ion as an active ingredient. They are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, guanidine hydroxide. Hydroxide relaxers are highly alkaline, have a pH of 13 or more, soften and swell the hair, are not compatible with ammonium thioglycolate relaxers, will come into reaction with metallic dyes. Metallic dye test is recommended if in doubt that they are present in the hair. Cause the hair to undergo the land ionization process whereby one sulfur ion is removed from a disulfide bond converting the bond to a lanthionine bond. Land ionization leaves the relaxed hair damaged and fragile. Periodic protein conditioning is recommended. Lanthionine bond caused by hydrogen relaxers will never be reformed to a disulfide bond even if it is excessively conditioned. Hydroxide neutralization. There is no oxidation process. A neutralizing shampoo is used to stop the action of the hydroxide relaxer and restore the pH of the hair. Types of hydroxide relaxers. Guanidine hydroxide relaxers are no lie relaxers. Metal hydroxide relaxer classification. Sodium hydroxide, lye relaxers. Potassium hydroxide, no lye relaxers. Lithium hydroxide, no lye relaxers. Guanidine hydroxide relaxers are no lye relaxers that do not need the entire scalp to be based. They are gentler on the scalp than hydroxide relaxers. They require two parts of product to be mixed to work. They completely straighten the hair. Recommended for sensitive scalp. They still harm and damage the hair. Low pH relaxers, sulfites and bisulfites, are recommended for use on color treated hair. They do not completely straighten the hair. They are compatible with thio relaxers, but not with hydroxide relaxers and metallic dyes. Thermal ionic relaxers employ the use of thio relaxer, hot blow dryer and hot press with flat iron. The heat accelerates and makes the process more effective. Base relaxers require base cream throughout the entire scalp to protect it from the high pH of the relaxer product. No base relaxers do not require protective base cream for the entire scalp because they contain the base cream in the product that melts with body heat lining the scalp to protect from the product. But the client still needs protective cream around the hairline and ear area. Strengths of relaxers are mild, regular, super. Periodic strand testing is done to determine if the relaxer process has taken place. The hair is stretched to see how fast it will revert to a curly form. If it is straight, then it is done. If it reverts or waves, more processing time is needed. 
Procedure for hydroxide relaxer virgin application. Wash hands with soap and water. Set up sanitary maintenance area. Drape the client with two towels and a plastic cake. Check for cuts, abrasions and diseases on the scalp. If present, do not proceed. Refer the client to a physician. Section the hair to four sections. Apply protective base around the hairline and ears and on the entire scalp. Wear protective gloves. Apply the relaxer 1 4 inches to 2 inches from the scalp to the pores ends. Leave the hair ends. Do periodic strand testing to check to see if the hair has been processed. After the mid shaft has been processed, you can apply the product to the roots and the ends for the last few minutes of processing. Strand test again for the ends and the roots. Rinse the hair with warm water with straight stroking motion of the hand. Apply normalizing lotion conditioner with an acidic pH to restore the pH of the hair if required by the manufacturer. Use neutralizing shampoo. Undrip the client. Clean up. Record the products used, procedure, processing time and the results in the client record card. Relaxer retouch is applied 1 4 inch to half inch away from scalp and includes new growth only. Due to its scalp irritating nature, do not apply relaxer to scalp hair until last few minutes of processing. Safety precautions. Check the scalp for the presence of cuts, abrasions and diseases. Have a client sign a release statement which informs the client that some damage may occur due to the high pH of the product. Client release statement does not completely protect the hairdresser or a salon for malpractice liability. Do not apply hydroxide relaxer on hair that has been previously permed. Relax with dye relaxer colored with metallic dyes on extremely damaged hair, on hair shampooed prior to service, on scratched scalp. Do not use hot irons, excessive heat and pulling on chemically relaxed hair. Do not shampoo before a hydroxide relaxer. Avoid scratching the scalp when rinsing the hair. Always follow manufacturer's instructions.